Cade York set to do the honors here, and we are underway from Cleveland. Taking it about the one. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, 49ers. He goes 99 yards on the game's opening kick. And the Niners put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Gold able to tack on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Now here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And some room to run now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 31 yards there and a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll run with Hunt on second down, and he gets it down to the 32. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. They find some open field here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And the slot man goes in motion left. They'll run again with Hunt. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. On the delay, here's Hunt. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. 
They'll try to run with Hunt. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Kareem Hunt, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Browns march right down the field on the opening drive to take a first-quarter lead. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And this play is not going to work. He stops short of the goal line, and this will remain a 7-6 ball game. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here we go. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at the 20. Play action. Now it's Lance. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. But there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Sometimes your crosses get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. Throw for it on fourth down. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf, incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. The 40, 20, 10, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. But Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights, and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22.
The Browns drive about to get started. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. This complete to David Bell. Finding room at midfield. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And Chubble trying to middle here. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Faking the give, now Watson. Bell brings it in across the formation. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll run with Chubb, and he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him two on the play. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Here's Watson. He'll, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Back to throw. Watson. Slant route complete to Bell. Touchdown, Browns. David Bell from 13 yards out. And the Browns have got it back to within a score. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is down to two. He sends this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So what am I going to say? Great defense. Oh, Darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. To throw once more on second and ten. Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Throwing on first down is Lance. He's got Ayuk once again. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Throwing again on second down. Lance, he'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And some space here. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Give him 32 on the play. 
It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And give the tackle to Anthony Walker. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. And Lance now to throw. Gets this one to use check. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine yard line. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it'll be fourth down. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Got it inside the 10. Still not a first yet. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the 49ers will extend their lead on the final play of the half. Well, my education continues in this game. I've got to tell you because there's not an analyst in the world that would have said pass up the field goal here, go for it, and expect for it to be successful, and it was. I mean, they're playing this one just like a video game. <laughs> Especially for the final play of the first half to have the guts to do that. But I guess, what do we say? The end will justify the means, right? No doubt about it. For you and me, we live, we learn. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. On first and 10, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Off of play action, it's Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. Tries the right side, and he finds Bell. On the move past the 40. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Watson now to throw. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. 
to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Watson hooking up with Cooper there for the Cleveland first. Third and four, he did just enough. I mean, just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Bell. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 21 yards. They'll give it to Chubb. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. He's going to get it again. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. In motion right is the running back. On fourth down, Watson. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And instead of having a one-score game, they'll remain two scores down. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Second and 11 now. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Here comes Grant on the return. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Anthony Schwartz, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. To throw again on second down. Watson. And 
Down he goes. The 49ers get there. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? They're going to look to throw. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win. Touchdown, 49ers! Well, they had done a really nice job on him through three quarters plus, but you just had that feeling eventually he was going to get loose. And this is why coaches always Damn. preach that it's a four-quarter game, right? It gets trite for us. It gets trite for the fans. This is exactly what they're talking about. What you did before was terrific, but will it stand up if you start giving up big plays as we saw there? A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They begin this drive with Chubb. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Watson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Watson. It's caught. Cooper. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. That's complete to Bell over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Watson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Well, obviously.